Oh man, it's freezing cold out. Keila's like, look at all these pumpkins. <laughs> There's a farm uh, up the way there, and it looks like they've thrown uh, their excess pumpkins in the slough. Um, well, anyway, I wanted to talk to uh, wanted to talk to everybody about uh, my naked body and uh, about nakedness and perception of nakedness. And uh, first of all, let's look at some pumpkins. Oh, there's pumpkins and gourds there. Um, so, my exposure to being naked around other people is mostly from swimming in streams, not the slough. But uh, I go swimming in streams and lakes, and um, people come and go, uh, and I don't care that I'm naked. Actually, maybe I initially cared. Let me get you out of the wind. Um, but uh, the longer you're naked, like the less it counts as something other than normal. Um, and then the longer you're naked, uh, other people's nakedness uh, affects you much less as well. I went, uh, so I was out camping, and I, I, if I'm camping by myself, I'm going to be naked almost the entire time. Um, I, actually, I went hiking in my underwear and uh, slippers uh, once. Um, and so I was hiking for a couple hours, and I saw some people uh, uh, off trail hiking as well, and they looked over at me and laughed. Um, You get, if you're naked all the time, whatever your body looks like just starts to become like it just just how it looks. Like it doesn't, you're not one thing or another. You're just naked, and that's your body. And then you go to I went to the nudist beach, and there's all sorts of people of all sorts of body types and ages and whatnot. Um, and I was like kind of really surprised. I was naked for so long that even other people's nakedness seemed so normal to me. And though there was uh, a couple girls there that were uh, like wearing like bikinis or just the bottoms, the bikini bottoms. And so suddenly, like that tiny added, that tiny bit of clothes, like they see, they actually seem naked by wearing a little clothing. It was interesting. Um, but I know I've, I was thinking of like three different people that uh, had like negative responses to my being naked. One uh, was uh, an ex-girlfriend of mine. And seriously, if your ex, if your girlfriend or your boyfriend doesn't like your naked body, that's that's not that's not a, much as a, a red flag as one of those red suns. Um, you know, un unlikely to have a, a livable planet circling that bad boy. Um, actually, one of my friends, uh, his his girlfriend was a nude model, and he wore a uh, what do you call those? A uh, Ebenezer Ebenezer Scrooge uh, bed robes. Um, and w after they broke up, I mean, he he couldn't stand how much she showed of her body. Um, when she when they broke up, she said to me, uh, one of the last things she said to me, she's like, "I never saw my boyfriend naked. Is that normal?" <laughs> like, like, well, what in the world? Um, maybe it's just like you know, is that no like she, maybe she didn't feel that she was normal because she was naked a lot. She was naked in front of strangers a lot for money. You know, she's people uh, people painted her and sculpted her and did all sorts of things. That's what she does. That's what she pretty much did for a living. So she was wondering if, like, as me as a representative of the the world of normal, if I could clue her in on it. Um, oh, my girlfriend that didn't like my naked body, um, which was weird because uh, I think I, I might have at that point in time been um, more along the lines of the classic, um, you know, young, skinny, and covered in muscle, um, you know, exercising uh, every day in, in three different kinds of ways. and. Um, yeah, we were going to go hot tubbing, and she's like, uh, well, where's your swim trunks? And I'm like, well, I'm like, I don't own swim trunks. She's like, well, let's go buy some. I'm like, no, I, I, don't, I didn't buy swim trunks. That's the thing. Um, and she was upset, and then so we get there, and she says, uh, you know, Earl's not going to be wearing swim trunks. And uh, one of the people there that we were getting into the hot tub with said, uh, well, do you want to borrow swim trunks? And I'm like... Do you not you don't allow people without swim trunks in your hot tub I'm not sure I'm following what's going on here and uh, the his girlfriend said oh no we just had like we must had like 15 girls over the other night not a single one of us was wearing a stitch of clothing so like you know nudity's fine here and uh, so like, but he looked uncomfortable and my girlfriend looked uncomfortable and he said well just so you don't get a hard on and I'm like I wanted to just turn around and walk right out of their house I'm like don't get a hard on. You're, you're warning me not to become like, not to eroticize. 
um, you know, your girlfriend or your body or my girlfriend's body, like, um, is, is nudity seems sexual to you? That's I guess that's the thing. It's like the, the reason you get naked is for a sexual reason, which is bizarre to me. I didn't understand. I didn't have a very good time that night, actually. Um, yeah, we ended up hot tubbing for like 10 minutes. Like, that guy was so uncomfortable. Um, wanted to get out so we get back into our clothing. So I didn't start like a, a, a foursome. Um, yeah, I guess, I guess I would just sum up saying like, if someone has like body issues, um, I've never seen anybody switch back. Um, I remember I, I used to know this one girl and we went out uh, rafting once and she wore uh, several layers of, 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 of swimsuits. Like one, we make one piece swimsuit. She wore a whole bunch of them, and I thought, I'm not sure. I'm not sure we're meant to be friends. Um, and oh, we, another girl came with us, and she wore like this really super tiny white bikini. And uh, that the girl with the multiple swimsuits wouldn't even look at her. And the entire time we were uh, we were out rafting, which uh, I found a little uh, just a little nonsensical. Now on that girl with those tiny white bikini had they, they both had perfect perfectly beautiful like TV classic bodies, you know, they're young and slim and fit. Um so I didn't see any, I didn't see any reason. I didn't see any reason actually for us to be weird uh, close at all. <laughs> right. Um yeah, so like but the, but if you're not on the borderline, if you don't like if if, if like other people's body, your own body doesn't bother you, then I swear the more often you're naked, uh the less it means other than you're gonna be comfortable. Swimming naked rocks walking around uh, in the forest uh, you know naked rocks it's just uh, just feels really good it's, it's good energy all right I should have done this naked okay I'll do another one naked